Somewhere in a suburban California neighborhood is an attic from hell. With uncountable piles of rodent excrements the twins must sift through, there lies a rat escape hole somewhere buried within. The twins are in a race against time to solve this problem because guess what? The Orkin man has arrived and he's about to lose his job. Hey, Michael. How are you? Well, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. Have you seen the, the rat in the kitchen at all? We had heard something, like some scurrying in the in the living room area, but when we went in there to investigate, there wasn't anything in there. Okay. So Got we it. saw droppings though in the bath in the bathroom. In the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where's that bathroom that you're that you saw the droppings? That those two windows right back there. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Awesome. I'm gonna put the dog away in his cage. Okay. So Michael started to hear a bunch of attic rats. I guess Orkin has been out here for a while now trying to solve this issue. They've placed some rat traps inside the attic and let me show you what the rats have done. You can see that the rats have taken the bait. The traps have not been deployed. This trap has been deployed, but no rats. And the bait all taken. This trap completely flipped over. That's why it's always best to secure your traps or use the twins bait station. So here's the bathroom that Michael was describing. A lot of rat droppings right here. I found a hot spot. Check it out. That's disgusting. As you guys can see, it's a it's a rainy day. And the roof has a very tough pitch. So I'm gonna grab, put this up on the roof so this can give us some more grip because we're sliding. Definitely slippery, guys. Mm. No? Mm. Mm. Open. Is it wide open? Yes. Yep, look at that. Wide open. Where I showed you where all that poop was, that's actually right here in this spot. So that hole is all relative to the droppings. Always blows me away how a company like the size of Orkin, they don't come in and do a thorough through investigation like that. It just, it's, it's aggravating for us, but also for our clients. It just, it doesn't make any sense when that's a blatant wide open hole. The rats will give you the puzzle. They leave little clues and it's our job is to put the clue together figure it out. All right, we are smoking. Here's the sewer. We're already getting smoke. All right, let's head up to the attic and see if we're getting any smoke. Right where the caca is. Let's head that direction. All right, look at how much haze we have in here. A lot of smoke. And it's coming from that, that pipe there. I'm seeing a burrow of smoke come down, but I can't get in there. I'm gonna have to get my crawl suit. Small little breach there. The uh, ABS connection to this Galvanized tea is not properly sealed. That could be a problem. We're gonna head back over here where all these rat droppings are. All right, guys, here we go. We gotta go climb, crawl. A lot of fun. Good thing is this is a pretty open, pretty open space. I just can't see where all the wood framing is. I don't wanna go through the ceiling either. Ooh, this is a hot spot. Where's that smoke coming from, guys? So there's the hole right there, guys. Okay, do it again. Boom. Look at that. Massive, massive hole. Okay, I'm following the runways. You can see they've been chewing on the wood. 
Guess how many rat droppings are in this pile here, guys? Post in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna start counting, okay? One, two, three. Okay, now I'm gonna puke. All right, guys, I believe it's sewer rats because this is a hot spot. That hole that we found where the roof uh, corners are, that's wide open, but I'm not seeing any rat grease there, so that's not the opening. It definitely has to be excluded. We're dealing with a massive sewer rat issue here. Problem is, is this, look at how it's embedded in wood and a bunch of stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this. Victor's gonna go in the bathroom and then mark where he hears it in the wall because that wall and ceiling is definitely gonna have to be opened up. All right, what did you hear, Vic? Don't care. Okay, this whole area is probably gonna have to be opened up. So I was filming with my cell phone. Check this footage out. There's a live rat inside that hole. You can see the rats burrowed through there. Oh, shoot. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Orkin snap trap right there. He runs out, hopefully we can snap him. I guess an Orkin uh, technician just showed up asking what we're doing. Let's go see what he wants. Hey there. Hey, how are you? Good, uh, Definitely sewer. You got an opening there. there. Rats are nesting in the far back corner. There's a huge gap on the roof line as well where they're coming in and out. So that's why you're hearing a lot of activity above that bathroom. Luckily they haven't found their way in until recently. Yeah, okay. That was awkward. So I guess Orkin was already contracted to do the exclusion, but my clients I think are canceling them all together. We'll see what happens. Michael has had a monthly service with them. That's they were non-responsive. We're not doing stuff. They finally came out. And then I am working and have no idea about anything else that is happening. All right, there's a little bit of a drama here. Um, they're canceling Orkin and they're gonna go with us for exclusion work as well. All right, so we got the approval from Michael and Carrie. We're gonna go ahead and open up that bathroom ceiling right now and see what's going on. We figured out that bathroom was completely remodeled and they didn't have any activity prior to that bathroom remodel. So it could be interesting what we find. They perhaps left a wide open vent or improperly did a connection. So let's see what happens. We're gonna go ahead and try to get the phone so we could see inside that wall cavity. Definitely a breach in that system. And we've narrowed down to where they're coming up. See anything, Vic? No insulation, poop, the pipe right there. Okay. We go and do the investigation smoke test with the rodent smoke test? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. I've seen that on YouTube and stuff like pest control, but we don't we don't offer that. Oh, got it. Yeah, we just I should introduce it, man. Well, because we have vendors, you know. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. We don't do it in house, that kind of stuff. So, like right here, the attic, we found the breach, bunch of rodent droppings in the far back, and that's where they were. That's where they're nesting in and out, coming in and out. They're coming out the sewer line. Yeah. Was like Norway rats? Yep, they're the Norway rats. Yeah. Mm, makes a lot of sense because sometimes we do have these problems where we do the exclusion. Um, the rotting proof and all that and that's my that's the usually we tell them okay You might have to contact the plumber or someone to go down yeah. there as you can see I spoke to Orkin and this is something that they do not offer in their services So even if they would have taken this job on they would have never been able to accomplish what we're accomplishing So I think it was a good move for them to cancel them and move with somebody like us that can go in and make an incision Fix the pipe and resolve this once and for all so we've reintroduced the smoke into the waste and vent system and Victor's got his phone where we've got, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah, it's disconnected like that. Disconnected. It's disconnected? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got a disconnected pipe and it matches exactly where the chew marks are and the rub marks. So that's where the break is, right there. No, open pipe. Oh. Right there. 
There's the issue right there, guys. So what they were doing is they were coming through here, climbing up right here, see the red marks? And then right up into the attic space through there. Okay, since we have the smoke machine out, we're going to go ahead and cap this off and then reintroduce the smoke just to make sure we don't have any other breaches. So if you notice guys, Orkin's traps are all flipped over, bait's gone. We've seen that over and over and over again. So David and I solved that issue with this right here. This is our attic platform. And what's really cool about it is it forces the rats to go inside. See the teeth right there? That way they can't pull themselves out of between the trap and the kill bar. Doing a lot of monitoring, those big rats were slipping right out and getting away but not anymore. Okay guys, we've got our secured rat trap there. We have our monitoring camera there, and we have our bait station here. All right, so we'll see if we can get some rats. Orkin in this case, they're leaving lots of bait like this. We wanna remove these so that way they only focus on our trap. So we're taking all the traps out of here that potentially have Bait. All right, so now we're gonna focus on the outside, the exterior, especially that one corner where the rats are coming through, potentially there as well. We're gonna get that all excluded, clean up, and then we're gonna monitor and see if the traps get some rats. Amazing how much droppings there were, thousands of them. I mean, it was sound like a slot machine. We were sucking up in the vacuum. I stepped in dog poo poo. Uh-oh. That could be a good ratter right there. All right, I'm gonna go get the guys lunch, go get the plug for that pipe to cap off. The guys are gonna start cleaning up downstairs in the bathrooms and uh, start plugging those holes up in the uh, ceiling and the wall so we can start getting everything wrapped up here for the day. What a job that was, guys. Good find today. Feel bad for Orkin. He was actually a pretty cool technician. I just think that there's just not a lot of experience in these larger companies. And uh, it's just unfortunate, but it's uh, we see it all the time. And again, guys, I'm not bashing Orkin. It just happens to be the one that's on my job. So I want you to know that I'm not here bashing any company that's not who David and I are. Again, it just happens to be Orkin in this particular situation. But they have had rat traps in that attic for almost a year and they have not caught anything. And the customer's very, very upset because here they are paying for pest control. They're up in the attic setting traps with no catch. When you block their entry points and if there are attic rats up there that's remaining, then we will start to catch and decolonize those rats out of that attic. That is the precise way to do it. There's no other way. There's, it's a waste of time to come to a property and set traps because it's not gonna work unless you block and seal their entry and exit points. All right, went ahead and put a uh, expansion plug there really nice and tight. What I love about those is it's all metal on the other side so they can't chew through it. Go ahead and cover all the holes and we'll be back later to patch after about, we typically like to patch after about seven to eight days. Well guys, that's a wrap for today. We're gonna monitor and see if we can get these rats. I'm hoping there's some in there. I'm hoping not for the clients, but for me, my selfish way, I want my rat traps to catch some rats. So stay tuned. All right guys, before we get to Dave's rat dance, the big takeaway on this episode is when you hire a rat exterminator, do not have them come and just put poison boxes and traps up in an attic because that's not going to work, as you can see in this episode. Dave, the rat dance. So even though that rat went down the sewer pipe, the twin traps deserves the rat dance. <laughs> <laughs>